Hi everyone and welcome to the DU Weekly Check-In. Here I'm joined by men's and women's head coach of the swim teams, Brian Schrader. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Glad to be here. Excellent. And you had, last weekend you um, had a meet here against Air Force. Um, give us a wrap up of how you think your competitors did. It was a women's only meet and uh, I think Air Force women are one of the most improved teams in, in the country in the last three years, if not the region. And uh, we were looking for some great racing, which they gave us. And uh, but our girls responded well. Um, we had some good help from diving. It was good to see us win a couple of boards. And our new coach Channing Kimball is doing a great job. But uh, Capadillo set a uh, facility record in the one meter, and Dana Gao won the three meter. So we were pretty excited about that. And as far as the swimming went, uh, kind of unique order of events. We decided to race a mile, which is usually only done in invitationals or at the end of the year. But uh, Girls swam well. It was exciting to see uh, Tyra Rooney, Jacqueline Best, and Claire Jank put up some really solid times, faster than uh, we were in December last year, so pretty encouraging. Excellent. And looking forward, you have the Iowa meet um, beginning of December, and that's about a month preparation. What time um, do the competitors put in? Do they get away from it for a little bit, or is it go, go, go every, every day? They're kind of doing something different. You know, um, leading into that, October is usually a pretty heavy month for us racing, and then we tend to take November off because we'll have finals coming up, sure. and then we'll take a little bit of a drop taper going into Iowa. So hopefully we're getting some really good training in the next, going back last week, in the next three weeks we consider a pretty important cycle, and then getting ready for Iowa. Uh, it's invitational style, so it's Nancy an Two-Way Order of Events. We get to rehearse our conference format. and. Uh, Everybody gets to race prelims and finals, so it'll be exciting to see what happens and how fast we go, and maybe we'll pick up some NC2A cuts there like we did last year. Excellent. And what uh, do you have planned for the month of December after that meet um, for your team? We are, uh, it's pretty exciting. We're going to go to Iowa for that invitational, and then we're back here for two days, and then we go straight to Puerto Rico, and we're going to stay there for nine days, um, and then we let the kids go home from December 20th through about the 27th. So uh, hard training in Puerto Rico, but on a beach, which they like. Um, so it's kind of a give and take, but I think very motivational for them to go and train at sea level and outside. And you know, it's kind of what swimming back to its roots, where it's outside and in a, sw in a swimming pool. So yeah, it's pretty fun. How do you get them to focus on Iowa before going all the way to Puerto Rico? Well, Iowa's kind of fun because it really, you know, they view it as a peak event. It's probably our second most important meet of the year, and. Um, it's coming after finals, so all we have to do is really focus on swimming, and I think it's the true advantage to Denver being on a quarter system, it's because other schools are, are trying to take their finals during that time, or they're coming the day after that event is over, and um, our kids are just having fun swimming past. Excellent. Okay, well that will wrap it up for the head coach of the men's and women's swimming and diving, Coach Brian Schrader. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Ethan. See you next time.